This is not a comic. I know, I know. You're thinking, okay, he's, he's going to pull that old uh, Rene Magritte uh, trick, uh, CC Nepal pipe. But uh, no, no, I'm going to uh, <coughs> take a whole different route. This, even though it's coming to you through YouTube as like uh, pixels in light, uh, to me, when I'm here right now, this Wonder Woman 210 is indeed a comic. It's a comic book. Proctor Valley Road, number one, Graham Morrison, and Alex Child, and Naomi uh, Franquiz, and Tamara Bonvillain, uh, is not really a comic. Why do I say that? Well, <clears throat> let's get into a little bit of uh, Marshall McLuhan here. And uh, I got to change because this is very hot. But you can see by my presentation, we're going to talk a little bit about the medium is the message. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much more seriously people would take me with the uh, suit jacket and a tie, but literally the same person uh, a few seconds later still saying, this is not a comic book. Now, Marshall McLuhan, for those that don't know, uh, just a brilliant um, communication, like Canadian philosopher, um, one of the cornerstones of media theory. Um, he coined the expression, the medium is the message, and also the term global village, uh, which uh, predicted the World Wide Web almost 30 years before it was in invented. So... <clears throat> It's, I'm, I'm a biology major, I'm not a communications major, so the medium is the message was always a kind of a conundrum for me. Like, I, I get that, uh, for example, like a news anchor, um, even though they're reading from a teleprompter, which is script, um, that's the content, but it's how they present it. It's um, the channel they're presenting it on. It's what's the intended audience. How do they read it? What inflections do they use? How are they dressed? Um, this is all media, right? Which becomes the message. So are they trying to uh, portray something as something else, like beyond the facts? It's, you gotta, it's bigger picture thinking, right? So why do I say that this is not a comic book? Well, it's not. Uh, what this really is, is a, uh, it's basically a script with concept art. That's an important distinction. This, which I remember reading when I was five years old, by the way, which is why I picked it up off of eBay many years ago. Um, that's truly a comic book uh, with that great cover by Rick Estrada. It was never intended to be anything more than a comic. It was meant for kids to see the cover, uh, be intrigued and buy it. That's all. This is a script for a television series with concept art. It's not really a comic. It was never intended as a comic. It will only be successful, truly, if it's picked up as a series for whether streaming media, television, or perhaps movie. That was its goal all along. Um, this is why you see so many creators shifting over to um, Substack now so they can retain the rights. So many independents as pits. Like I could have brought out Noctera, which has been picked up as a, uh, a TV series. But the one, I like this one because it was by Universal Content uh, Productions or UCP Graphic which is an extension of the uh, television studio UCP, which is the division of Universal Studio Group uh, associated with the uh, NBC Universal U UCP. Um, so basically it's NBC um, getting into comics. It's, they're recognizing the goal that, okay, a lot of our content is coming from comics, so they're treating it as basically a script with concept art. It's kind of a change. Now, I know 
This isn't speculation or I'm giving you comics like, oh, I think these are going to go up. This is, this is the philosophy of it. This is what to think about. This is how the industry's changed from when I was young. Um, nowadays, it's a, a comic has to be picked up as a series or and now you know the biggest example is Disney of course right so is it going to go on Disney Plus is um, it going to be in the next Avengers uh, movie or spin-off is there characters in there okay and it's now validated right so it's, it's a valuable comic well this is you're basically taking like comics out of that and all of a sudden they're no longer just comic they've transitioned into script for movies or you know concepts for movies that's different from when I was younger so um, yeah it, it, it's a lot to digest and I know I'm like I said I was never a communications major but it's when you look at the the big picture of things it's where the industry is going it's it's no longer just to sit back and really read this. Or as a creator, it's not, I'm going to make a cool story with this cool ideas and art and it's just going to exist as a comic book. No, it's not enough just to be a comic because that's not where the money is. It's uh, the only way I'm going to be successful in this endeavor is if the stage one my script with pictures uh, gets picked up by the studios and becomes movie or becomes streaming or becomes television. That's the big sea level change here. That's what's really happened in this whole speculation game. But I can tell you this. Um, this is from the days when <laughs> artists would do covers without a script. Um, and basically come out with these weird and wonderful wacky covers and the writers would literally have to reverse engineer the cover into a story uh, whether it be like a shrinking formula or whatever but it's like the cover sells so this cover will sell make me a story to fit it that's literally how they used to do it um, but I also what really uh, got me thinking about this is manga for example, that's One Punch Man number one, the manga. This is, and I, I've watched the anime, it's literally like keyframes. It's exactly that the anime follows this like picture for picture almost. It, it does not deviate at all. Uh, manga's been doing this now for about two generations. Uh, if you think back to Akira, um, all the old ones like Berserk was a manga. Um, so the Japanese have been pursuing this sort of formula, writing basically um, scripts with pictures, is what they are, um, for a long time. Like it, They've always wanted to get them into animated features, the anime. Um, so Hollywood now has really started to follow this trend. So you, you look at like a lot of the modern comics and... They are intended to be scripts. And you can see where like Universal Content Productions um, is now, you know, entered the fray. Uh, let's make comics and see how they go. And then these can become the basis for our online viewing or streaming platform or television series or whatever. One of those evolutions of comics that you don't always see coming. And but when you do think about it it's like yeah yeah they're basically scripts now um <laughs> so now that's not true for long existing characters like for example like um, a lot of the batman are just batman stories and they're not so much a script but when people do the arcs maybe they are or superman arcs or whichever um if it's a long established ip um, it could just be just meant to be a comic and that's it. What I do find is a lot of these independents like Boom, um, Image, things like that are definitely aimed towards something more. And that influences how they're written and the entire 
um, whether or not they're really a comic anymore. So, just something to think about. I don't know why I'm philosophizing so much lately, but it's just it's just stuff I think of. It's uh, yeah, it's it, it's interesting to get into the whole um, communications theory and the whole network of ideas and whatnot. So. If, if you want to research it, there's tons online about that, but uh, something to think about today. Anyways, maybe I'll get into this later. Maybe I won't. I just wanted to sort of introduce the topic. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.